In order to write a program to perform a merge sort, there are two things I need to be able to do. One is to take a list and to split it into two. The second, and arguably the most difficult part of the program, is to be able to take two separate lists and merge them together into one, sorting as we go. So here I have two lists which I want to merge together, Array 1 and Array 2. Notice that the data in each list is already sorted. I can calculate the size of the target array from the sizes of the source arrays. So my target array is Array 3, waiting to be populated. To merge them, I'm going to need three pointers. Pointer 1 will scan source array 1, pointer 2 to scan source array 2, and pointer 3 to scan the target array, array 3. I begin by comparing the values at pointer 1 and pointer 2, and whichever is the smallest will be copied to the position in the target array given by pointer 3. Now, because I copied a value from pointer 2, I'm going to advance pointer 2 along with pointer 3. And as I did before, I compare the values given by pointer 1 and pointer 2. Whichever is the smallest, I can copy into the target array at the position given by pointer 3, and then I can advance pointer 2 and pointer 3. As I did before, compare the values at pointer 1 and pointer 2, and whichever is the smallest, I copy into the target array at the position given by pointer 3. Now this time, I copy the value from pointer 1, so I'm going to advance pointer 1 this time, along with pointer 3. And this process continues, comparing the values at pointer 1 and pointer 2, and whichever is the smallest, I copy into the target. Whichever pointer I copied from is the one which I advance. Now eventually, one of these arrays will contain no more data to be copied. So then it's a simple matter of taking the remaining items out of the other array. And there we have it. Our target array is fully populated and the data has been merged. Let's take a look at some pseudocode that will do this job and get us closer to a program. I have a loop which executes until PTR3, which is used to scan the target array, reaches a value given by the combined sizes of the source arrays, plus one to cater for the fact that these arrays are zero based. Inside the loop, I have an if block, which compares individual items in the source arrays given by the current values of PTR1 and PTR2. Whichever is the smaller is copied to the target array and the relevant pointer is incremented. PTR3, you can see, is incremented unconditionally each time we pass through the loop. 